Hey, what's going on, you guys? Sir Burns a lot here with Team High Cloud, and today I'm bringing you a 2v2 game with Prodigy. We're playing on a repository against uh, this this guy that I can't pronounce his gamer tag. If you guys want to try to pronounce that, it looks like some German. So, uh, into the game, I made the joke that uh, these are probably the German tryhard people that you uh, you hear about, where they grind the game and nobody knows who they are, and just all this crazy stuff. So we were just making that joke at the start of the game. But then we saw their combo, and we thought that it'd probably be a pretty good game, so decided to go ahead and record it. Um, right here, I actually don't decide that I want to go into Hogs. Uh, I think we're going against an Anders Arby, and against the Anders Arby, I don't know. I really don't like to uh, try to out-damage an Anders on the Arby's base or anything like that. So right here, I'm just going to try to get... Uh, the strategy here is trying to get two vehicle depots up so they can't really deny both of them if they try to uh, get a quick tank out to push on offense to force a recall and then put the second one on uh, defense to get rid of hogs or force the RB to rage that one down. That way when my second one gets to his base, if he does recall, he'll have less money to rage it down. And that's just kind of the game plan here. And then just try to outplay the Anders by using the tanks and everything. We'll just see how it works out. Um, but anyway, just... We see the ghost down here, so I go ahead and try to ram him and then just say, no, those are my supplies. So I just start picking those up, and we're just kind of chilling. Uh, it's This is going to be the second upload I have this week, and I know you guys are probably going to freak out because normally, uh, especially recently, I haven't been uploading a lot uh, just because I've had a lot to do. But this is actually the first day off I've had in a while that I'm actually at home and I'm not out doing things and um, going to go see my kid or anything like that because uh, my girlfriend's at school right now she's in college and um so if i went over there i'd be able to see my daughter but i wouldn't be able to go see her or anything so i'm just kind of chilling at my house played some halo wars with prodigy and this is what we got um so right here i think what i decided to do is go uh reactor fifth on my main and reactor fourth on my expo uh, for a really really quick tank normally you'll go uh reactor fourth on your main or reactor third on your expo and then you can get your depots and everything but i knew that i was going to need to have a little bit more of an economy to try to uh get tanks out later and stuff um but granted it just really depends on what you want to do uh if i really did want a super quick tank i could have gone a uh, reactor third on my expo reactor fourth on my main and went for the depots i would have had a tank over on their side 30 seconds quicker but that's about all it does for you but then again the 30 seconds there can lose you the game so right here he does port through a couple suicide grunts uh prodigy for whatever reason he decided to stay on this side and play some defense so we were kind of juggling back and forth deciding whether or not he should go on offense or if he should just stay on defense and see what they're going to do but right there i spot yellow's warthogs um and right here, what I'm going to do, since my reactors are kind of staggered, I'm going to build another supply pad here while this reactor is going to be coming up. Uh, my vehicle depots will be a little bit staggered, but I'm not going to be able to build out of both of them anyway. Just as long as I get one of them up and get a tank out, then I'm not really worried about it. So right here, I'm assuming they're going to be pushing up to his base anytime now, trying to just out damage him. But they come over to my expo and see that I did get my second tech and I'm queuing up a depot. Um, I'll queue up a second vehicle depot over here. And pretty much uh, what they could do is have the hogs on one base and the RB go to the other base and just shut my depots down and then just make a whole lot of hogs, which probably would have been the best option. But um, right here, they're going to deny this vehicle depot and this other one's being left alone because they're wanting to put pressure on Prodigy, which is fine. But uh, honestly, if you guys are ever put into this kind of situation where the, uh, the enemy team is doing something like we're doing right here, what you want to do is just keep the cutter's vehicle depots down. Um, that way, because uh, we're not on offense, so they're going to be able to get an air lead anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if you let the covey go, because then you'll both get air at like, the same rate. So pretty much what you'll be able to do is get into uh, the Anders would be able to go into Goss and then just help with the, uh, the air war, and then that's pretty much the end of the game. But they didn't decide to play it like that here in the beginning. So we'll just kind of see. Uh, I am pumping out a tank, and... I think the RB knows that I'm going to have a tank out pretty soon. Uh, so he's just chilling on that side of the base. The hogs are kind of just chilling, um, just kind of attacking stuff. I'm queuing up another tank. This tank's going to come out, and I'm kind of um, just going to box him in behind that base because the pathway finding is ridiculous. Um, 
and my other vehicle depot's up right now too, so that's really good. I do have two, but I'm not going to be able to build out of them both at the same time. But they did a lot of damage on this one anyway, so I don't. I'm not going to be able to get a tank out of there regardless. So, right here, the hogs go to get out and everything. The RB uh, comes up to this base, I think. Um, it's not happening yet. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Yeah, he comes up there and he's going to start raging. This guy's got really good rage micro. He's hitting my tank and then he hit the reactor and then the depot and. This is what you want to do to try to uh, get the RB off of your tanks and stuff is to try to squeeze yourself in between buildings and stuff because a lot of times they'll miss and they'll hit your buildings. And if they hit your buildings, it's not a big deal. Um, I did lock the base down over there uh, just because I didn't want him to raise that tank as soon as it came out. And right here, since he killed that other depot, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade a pad because I don't really have anything else to spend the money on. I could get a turret on one of my bases if I wanted to, but I don't really think that's worth it. I'd rather just have a pad. So... Right here I'm going to unlock, and right here we think that the RB was like going to camp in front of my base to try to rage my tank down when I unlocked it, but he's over there right now. So right here I'm going to go ahead, this is the tank I believe I'm going to go ahead and send on offense. They raged that first one down, but this one, the first one that you can get clear, you want to send to uh, their covenant base to try to make them recall. Um, and right here I am going to get a little bit of a double bump here in a second, so... Um, this tank is gonna just come over here. I'm gonna push over with this tank and just have them uh, try to rage that one down and just try to push them off really um, If he does rage it down, I'll lose a tank or uh, if he doesn't rage it down They'll lose hogs or he'll take a lot of damage on his RB whichever way is okay You just kind of want to get them off of his base so Prodigy can try to get something out um, and They're kind of away from his base and everything so right here. I'm just trying to uh, if I can force a recall, then their hogs and their RB can't both be on offense at the same time. So that's just the goal of what I'm trying to do here. Um, gonna get another tank. I'm just gonna sit my tanks and stuff over here by his base and try to defend uh, my reinforcing tanks anyway. I'm not in time to stop that summit. I'm gonna do a little damage on it, but it is gonna get up. So that was pretty unfortunate, but it's okay. Right here, I decided I was gonna go ahead and tech up uh, just because. I did force the recall, so it's going to be a little bit before they come over here. So uh, in this little split second, I'm going to try to go ahead and tech up because you never want to be teching up while they're attacking. And I'm pretty sure normally with the Anders Arby, they're going to be pushing for the majority of the game. So if you can try to – if they did push up right now, their army would be a little bit split. So uh, that was pretty much the goal here. I think they killed his RB right there. So right here, I'm just trying to get my tanks down there, get them into position. I'm waiting for third tech to come up and there it goes. And I've got, I don't know how many tanks I have out right now. I think three, I think those are my only three tanks right now. And right now while I'm waiting on, uh, I debated, I don't know if I down tech or not. I don't think I did. Yeah, I decided not to down tech because if I can get enough power turret, that'd be cool. But I don't want Anders to switch into tanks or anything and then just go from Goss straight into tanks. So right here, I'm just going to sell one of my vehicle depots so I can get a double pump because I do need to have two vehicle depots up. And I recycled one uh, for Canny because I wasn't going to have enough money to pump tanks and get Canny at the same time anyway. So I don't really think blowing up a pad is really worth it uh, because you can glitch your eco and stuff that way. So... um. But right here, I did do the pad to get another vehicle depot out. That's worth it. I don't like recycling the pad to get a reactor up. But anyway, they're not really pushing right now. So part of me thinks Andrews is trying to go get a third base, which would probably be the smart thing to do because I can't really push with what I've got. Prodigy can't really push with anything right now either. And their covey can just stack up air lead at the moment. Uh, they could come over and just try to kill my vehicle depots, but I did get canny. So that's going to be a really big plus for us. Um because Canny fights Goss pretty well, but the problem is they did have their summit, I believe, a little bit before Prodigy did. So they've got air, and we really don't. So right here, I'm trying to get some cannies, and you see my cannies fly up and hit the wall right there. So that was really cool, the really clutch move there. But um, they've also got their RB over here. I already uh, threw my canny, and right here I made a ridiculous mistake. I dropped this D bomb, and there was honestly no point to drop that D bomb. There really just was no point, because. Now they can leave. He can the RB can back out, but now the Goss can push back up. So that's the face palm of the century right there. This this shit's ridiculous. I was so mad at this point because 
I don't know. This was like the third game we had played, and the two games before this were against really bad people. So we had tried to turtle one, and then this, I don't know, like – I just felt really stupid after doing that. But anyway, I'm trying to just get tanks over here and try to make it up that I had pretty much just D-bomb pushed for them. And I'm just trying to help Prodigy get out of this hole here because he can't really do anything with the RB with this D-bomb chilling. And right there, I am going to get a few candies off. But you see they've got Banshees over here now. So this is this is where it starts getting kind of hairy. Uh, we do have the summit up, and I, I think Prodigy is building vampires. But I'm going to build a couple of Wolverines just in case they do kill... Um, just in case they do kill the summit because if they kill his summit his vamp production is nothing and i told him not to get his vamps out quite yet because with those goss sitting right there uh they're just going to be able to focus him down and he'll have no unit so that's going to be really bad so right here just trying to fight his banshees and stuff with my three tanks i do have canny so they do a little bit of extra damage not quite as well as i would like them to be doing but what can you do anyway i'm gonna try to turn around here so i can try to use my cannies maybe try to catch some of these hogs and everything i don't see an rb or anything over here right now so uh this guy's just going to keep bringing his air and stuff over here we do have a few vamps i don't know why they're on that other side of the base um i think he like mistakenly put his rally point over there or something um i need to get that rb healed whenever i get a chance to but right now we just got to fin this push off here um yeah just gonna try to kill these and i got a wolverine in the mix now so that wolverine's gonna be able to help with the air and we got some vamps out now um normally i'll stop making wolverines once he gets about three or four vamps out because that'll help get the air war under control then the tanks can really take care of the goss because they won't have banshees to mix in um so that's going to be really good the only thing is if they go banshees banshees with the goss the goss takes out the vamps but the banshees take out the tanks the tanks take out the goss <laughs> so i mean it's just a big it really just comes down to micro at that point so right here the arby's like no bar like he has no health and this this is where i told him he needed to get his vamps over there because um i think he had set it over there because he didn't want the goss to be hitting it and everything but right now we're just kind of sitting um here in a second, I'm going to be flag glitching to try to figure out where Anders' third base is. Because if Anders doesn't have a third base right now, something's wrong. Um, so I'm just going to drop the heel there while he picks up some money off to the side. And he's just steady going to make vampires to make sure they can't really push. Um, that heel's kind of going to cut into my double pump here. So I'm not going to be able to continuously double pump like I was before. And I'm going to try to get out as many tanks as I can to take care of these Goss. And with the Raging Arby and some Vamps, we should be able to do some kind of work against the Banshees and everything. So right now we're just kind of chilling, trying to see where their third base could possibly be. And I see right there, I try to click on it and everything, and it's not there anymore. So that kind of gave me a clue that they might be over there. I'm going to keep two tanks back on defense just in case they decide to counter push with the Goss. And that'll help a little bit. It's not going to do a whole lot, but it'll be better than nothing. And I'm going to take my Wolverines with me because these Wolverines are going to be really good at uh, taking out the Banshees if they try to defend with them. So, uh, right now we're just trying to push and kill that third base if they do have it. And queuing up a couple more Wolverines, I think. Because right now with this number of tanks on Canny, I don't really feel like Goss is that big of a problem. Because if he's had this triple base for a while, then it would have been a problem. But I look over here and we're completely surprised to see that it has not been taken. I think they cleared it and they were going to take it, but they just didn't. So, right over here, I was planning on pushing on the Covey. We really didn't have to at the moment, um, so I don't know why I decided to. It would have been better to just let them come over and try to counter push after we fended it off and everything. But he's got some of the, um, the Sentinels over here now, the Super Sentinels, to take care of my tank. So, that's going to be really, really terrible. But I do have a couple Wolverines in, so that's going to help out. Um, Prodigy just spotted the Arby. The Arby's right here now. And I'm going to try to get a canny off on this thing hopefully and you see right here he dodges all my cannies and i just face palmed here again and i was like come on man like i was i was feeling really stupid right here and they debombed um so i don't know why they i guess they tried to debomb to kill the rb since they have super sentinels on my tanks and everything but i don't know i don't feel like that debomb was worth it but at the same time i threw down a debomb that wasn't worth it either so uh, right here, they're going to pick off this tank and this Wolverine uh, just because they've got that Super Sentinel, so I can't get away, and that's just really dumb. Uh, I'm just getting a couple more. I'm 
I got one more Wolverine coming. I got a tank coming and queuing another tank. So I'm just trying to get a good mix of units here. Um, he's got vamps now, so I don't really have to worry about Wolverines too much. But uh, right here you see I canny again, and he <laughs> I miss all of my cannies again. That was an epic canny miss right there. And they they just have so much stuff here in the middle. They're going to start pushing up with everything. And this is looking really bad for us right now. So right here I'm just trying to queue up more tanks and just <laughs> keep trying to produce things. And uh, their RB has like no health. But if I, I don't have any cannies left, and he's just spending a lot of money raging and stuff here, and I'm trying to get a kill on this RB, but I don't know how well that's going to work out. But he does get the RB kill right there. I do have a few tanks. They already use their D-bomb. So right here, we know that we have to, if they stay here and engage, we can kill off a lot of their army and then just push back in. So right here, I don't know why, they're just recklessly trying to engage us without their RB. So we have an RB and tanks. We got vamps to take care of the super sentinels. We got the RB to rage everything down. And right here, you see he's getting some excellent catches right there. He's just catching everything that guy had. And we just pretty much shredded Yellow's army there. So that was a really good exchange for us right there that kind of counteracted that really bad exchange we had a minute ago. So right here, we decided with all those units and stuff gone, we're going to have to push really soon or else Anders is going to get her numbers and stuff back up again, and it's going to be really bad. So right now... Uh, we're just trying to think what would be the best thing to do and I think I don't remember if it was his idea or if it was my idea that we should go to the middle just to make sure they don't get any more super sentinels and then uh, wait for the RB to push or wait for the RB to come to the middle and then we'll just see what we can do then so right here I just go ahead and decide to put my stuff into the middle and that's what we're gonna plan on doing we're gonna try to come in here uh, get into the middle and just keep them from buying the sentinels and if we can keep them from buying the sentinels eventually my tanks uh, once I get in the power turret it's not really gonna matter if he's got Goss and if the other guy has banshees it really doesn't matter at that point so right here I see he bought another sentinel so I'm trying to shoot that down with my Wolverines and uh, just trying to do work this guy's losing that super sentinel but anyway you see the Arby's coming through right there I hadn't used my D-bomb yet so right here I go to drop the D-bomb he jumped on to Prodigy's Banshees and Prodigy dragged them over there so he pretty much got the Arby out of the D-bomb which was really bad so he got the recall there so I pretty much just wasted my D-bomb that was probably the worst D-bomb ever so that other video I showed you guys was the worst transition into tanks ever and this is the worst D-bomb ever and right here, we're just trying to keep them off of the triple base. Like, I, That's really the only thing we can do is just try to sit back and just try to get power turret and try to just keep them off of three bases. Because that's, I mean, that's really all we can do right now. And right here, the RB does rage up. I don't have the D-bomb or anything. I do try to get some cannies off here as soon as they come back. But in the meantime, I'm getting raged down. So right here, I get my cannies, and I actually fucking hit him this time. So that was really good that I was able to actually hit him this time. And right here, I'm going for my tech up because I know it's now or never to get PT. The Arby's gone. They can't really push. So right here, I know that we just need to go for PT. I need to keep whatever numbers I have alive and just try to just chill and see what we can do and get poised for an attack on the Covenant because if we can take the Covenant out, I'm not really worried about the Goss at this point because once I get Power Turret, the Goss is useless. Goss cannot beat Power Turret. Almost, there's almost nothing that can beat Power Turret. So we'll just have to see what we can do over here. I do have a lot of black bars, though. So I'm going to try to move my stuff together that needs healed, and I'll try to heal them in a second. Um, here in a second, I'm going to be able to get power turret. Um, we really don't need to be attacking right here, but I guess we decided we could. Since the Arby's about to be out, maybe we could catch him before he really does any damage. So right here, I'm just trying to cut some of the Goss numbers and everything and just make sure he doesn't mass anything. Um, they can't really play defense with hogs so that's pretty much the whole deal there and right here I'm gonna down tech and I think I'm gonna double down tech at some point so I can get three vehicle depots because once you have power turret queued you don't really need anything else and here's the RB's about to kill my tank so right here I'm gonna try to get a canny off if I can get him there he is right in the middle of my stuff get the canny and the RB's pretty much dead now but he's going to rage around for a little bit. Prodigy's going to try to smack him around a little bit, see if he can get anything going, but Prodigy's hitting the base there. But we end up killing the Arby there, and there's pretty much nothing they can do now. There's a minute left until 
uh, the Arby can come back out. So as long as we kill that temple, we don't have to worry about the Arby and we don't have to worry about the Goss because we're pretty much kicking the shit out of the Goss with PT anyway. So that's pretty much the end of the game here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, it was a really good back and forth game. Uh, there were a lot of mistakes in this video. So if you take anything from this video, uh, just make sure that you guys aren't making the same mistakes I made in this game. Uh, watch where you throw your D bombs. Um, watch where watch how you do your cannies don't jump the gun on your cannies just be patient with them you don't really have to jump the gun on them because you can get a lot of stuff done with a like if you just delay using your candy for a little bit but right here i'm just going to try to candy some pads and just try to wrap this game up because this guy didn't want to quit so um i don't know if there's anything else to talk about the minute goes on uh the game goes on for a couple more minutes um if you guys want me to uh I talked about doing a guide, like a, a mid-level guide to help you guys get better at the game, um, but I don't really know what combo or whatever you guys would like to see. So if you guys uh, want to know like how to run a certain combo, what to do on what maps and stuff like that, um, just give me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, that way I'll have a direction to go with the next couple of videos and everything because right now I ain't got nothing. I don't really know what to post unless I have a... Not really even a good game, but just a fun game or if something happened that could uh, teach anybody anything. But anyway, this guy finally ended up resigning. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Um, but anyway, if you're new to the channel, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And uh, as always, this is Sir Burns Lot with Team High Cloud. You guys take it easy and have a good day.